Should the Keychron K2 hot swappable keyboard be your next board? Well, let's take a look and then you can decide for yourself. What's up everybody, welcome to MyPixel. And as always, it's awesome to have you here. Today, we're just taking a look at the Keychron K2 hot swap version. The version I have here is the one with a white backlight, Gateron brown switches, and no aluminum bezels. There are also options to purchase this keyboard with RGB, which then comes with the aluminum bezels. And also there's options for Gateron red or blue switches. Of course, since this is a hot swap board, you're free to change those switches anytime you like. So what do we have in the box? Keycap puller, switch puller, we've got a USB-C to USB-C cable, and also extra window style keycaps. This board here ships with Mac style keycaps installed. This is a 75% keyboard which gets rid of the numpad but keeps a function row, arrow keys, and your main navigation keys in a footprint that's only one key wider than the popular size 60% keyboard. Here you can see it compared to a full size keyboard. This keyboard weighs in at 565 grams. This board supports connections for up to three Bluetooth devices and can also be used in wired mode if you want that instead. On the left side of the keyboard are the USB-C port, a switch to toggle between Windows, Android, or Mac OS input, and another three-way switch to use the keyboard in wired mode, Bluetooth mode, or to just turn it off completely. On the bottom of the keyboard, there's some feet here with two options for angle adjustment. Even without flipping out the feet, the keyboard already has a natural angle, but if you need it, you've got two more options at hand. Using the included keycap puller, we can take a look at the keycaps. The keycaps included here are made of ABS and are double shot, so you know the legends aren't going to fade or rub off. Here you can see the Gateron brown switches, which give that tactile feedback without the loud clicky sound of blue switches. If we use the included switch puller, we can take a look at the switches. The ones we have here are plate mounted switches which have three pins. If you want though, this board is also compatible with the PCB mounted switches with five pins if you got those lying around instead. In any mechanical keyboard video, there's always a sound test, so let's not break the trend. Here we go. First, here's a test of the sound difference between some of the different keys. and a sound test of some real world typing. This white backlight version, although not as flashy as RGB, also comes with its fair share of lighting styles. Here's a demo of all of them. There are also four levels of brightness to the backlight, or you can turn it off completely. This keyboard has a 4000 mAh battery, which Keychron says can last up to 240 hours with the backlight off. So as a Mac user primarily, it's really hard to find mechanical keyboards that come with Mac keycaps and function keys. Luckily, Keychron has stepped in to fill this gap in the market, and with this hot swappable K2, offers a great, easily customizable keyboard that's just one of many in their lineup. Hope everybody liked the video. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy.